Hi, and welcome to the Hero Wooding Crafter channel. I'm Yutta, I'm coming to you from Tamra, Finland. And this channel has videos about mainly knitting, but, but also other kinds of crafting, like so sewing and crocheting sometimes, well, very rarely nowadays, but anyway. Um, just a quick start to this video, because um, the last video I uploaded was stage 2, and today is the 3rd of September, so we're already on stage 6. Uh, so I'm lumping stages 3 and 5 together, the 4th pair of socks I haven't gotten finished yet, and the 6th pair I haven't started and I don't think I'm gonna start or try to get them finished even though they're fun socks, but I just, I just, I just can't right now. So, um, so yeah, next up is stage three, and after that I will record a short video about stage five. So see you in a bit. Hi, and welcome to the Herawoody and Crafter channel on YouTube. Um, of course you know this is on YouTube. Silly me. Uh, but yeah, this is a short video about uh, Tour de Soc uh, Stage 3 socks. Uh, they're called um, Bicycle Race. The designer is Heidi Nick. I'm gonna say Heidi because that's what the way we, we Finns pronounce it. It could be Heidi, Heidi, but I'm gonna say Heidi. Heidi Nick. Uh, today is Thursday. 2nd of August and the pattern related, the stage started on Wednesday, so yesterday. Um, these are beaded socks, you can do it without the beads but you won't qualify if you don't use beads. And I've never knit anything with beads before. Last year I think, um, I think I got only two pairs done and and ne neither of them were the beaded socks so they were the first two but anyways um, this is how much I've got done so once again two at a time things have changed last year I think I said that I don't like using two at a time because it feels slower but right now I feel like I'm gonna get them I'm, I'm some for some reason I'm afraid of the second sock syndrome so I have actually done all of the two at a sock socks two at a time so at least I get them exactly the same and I don't after uh, finishing one sock I don't have to start from from the beginning once again so um, I'm just about done with the ribbing of the cuff so uh, actually the next next uh, round that I do is going to be be the last round and that's gonna have the beads so I started rec recording before because it takes a little bit of time to do the beads for me even though I think I have found quite an okay way to add the beads um, and since the kid just conked out for his nap, so I'm not gonna do the be beating, beating now. I'm gonna record, then do the beads. Um, but yeah, I really like the combination. Um, this is some very light gray Vilkolana Arvetta Classic, so uh, Superwash Merino. And then I have these very kind of, I'm not sure if they're dark gray or black, I would I would say maybe dark gray. I think the combination is quite quite nice. And this would since I had the beads from last year, I think that this this yarn played really well with the beads so I didn't have to go and buy new ones because I hadn't used the old ones even yet. So yeah, um like I said in the f few previous to the sock videos I have been finishing quite slow uh, I've been somewhere around the th 350s 
So the first stage was uh, 349, and the second with the second socks I was uh, 365th. So I'm really hoping that I might be faster with this. I'm hoping that maybe some people won't be doing them. So because of because these will have quite intricate uh, or intricate looking braids. I think it's some, uh, some a bit. I'm not sure what the technical qualifications are for Bavarian braided socks or whatever they are. But they, uh, that's kind of what what comes to mind for me. So small, intricate uh, braids and beads, and I'm not sure beads probably aren't any kind of qualification for for Bavarian socks. But you know. Uh, so yeah, I also might get at least one overnight um, day, what you might call it, and uh, the weekend coming up, because uh, like I think I said in the start of the last video, last to the sock video, I I was back home in Oulu for a week, so the coming weekend uh, my spouse might be going to his mom's place with the kid. And I've, I've told them that you don't have to, but if you want to, I would be happy if you stayed there for one night, <laughs> at least. Overnight for maybe, yes, that would be nice. So if they, if they stay there overnight, I'm gonna have, uh, somewhere around 24 hours that I can uninterruptedly knit on these, so that might help. Because even though I can do this while the kid is awake, it's of course easier because I don't have to interrupt my knitting because of him, if he's not home. It's so boring when your life gets in the way of your hobbies, right? You don't have to be working to have that happen to you. So, well, yeah, um, I think that's about all I have right now because there's nothing more to show you. I'm going to get knitting on these and then hopefully I'll get them done a little bit faster than with the previous socks, but we'll see. So, um... Like I think I said in the last clip, I am having a few days by myself at my house. To this morning, um, my boys left for my mom-in-law's house and they will be there for at least one night. I would guess probably two. So I thought that it would be nice to take a quick update. This is how far I've gone so far. I haven't knit on these yesterday or today yet. And um, just out of personal curiosity to just see how much I can get done when I'm not being interrupted by my everyday life. So, Official moment to transfer the, the um, progress keeper stitch marker. This could be both, but now it's serving as a progress keeper. Just started a little bit on the on the pattern, maybe ten-ish rows, and I have a lot more to go. If I get to turn the heels while I'm alone. I will be quite satisfied with my progress. So I'm going to warm up the shoulders and get knitting. 
Hi, I have some decorations on me today. I went to a massage yesterday. My sister's partner has just uh, graduated. That, that's the word I'm looking for. She just graduated three what is it, a sports or athletic massage therapist and this is part of her training she, she thought I would benefit from these and so far they've been working fine but to the point um, I didn't get as much knitting done as I thought I might but well, not too bad while I was alone so this is where I was and this is where I got so a fair bit I didn't get to turn the heel while I was alone but but I just turned the last the other heel yesterday evening and the other one today this morning so the heels are turned now I only have the foot parts to knit and I still have today and tomorrow to do that so it's not impossible but it's gonna be tight I think the next stage starts on the 10th so not tomorrow but the day after that at 8 a.m. my time I think it was somewhere around that and I am not gonna be waking up that morning just to get these done if I don't if I just to get these done so if I don't get these done tomorrow by tomorrow evening and I will not finish these in time. I will finish them, even though I do have some some things that I'm not particularly fond of with these socks. The beading wasn't as bad as I thought, or was afraid that it might be, but it was quite enough for that for now. I probably will do beading again, but at least with this particular pattern. Yeah, it was enough for now. So I'm gonna get going again with these. Hopefully get them done in time. There wasn't as many finished pairs of socks by now than I think there has been in previous stages. I think there was something like less than 200 socks ready. So if I get them done, I might get more points. But we'll see. So yeah, I will get back to knitting. Yeah, um, it's Friday the 10th, I think. Yeah, so and I got, I got them done with just under 10 hours to spare. I think I was just had turned the heel the last time I recorded and um, yeah and let me show you the other sock so you can see the pattern better so here it is it starts from here has some beads and this uh, diamond shape this circle shape and then the largest part is this twisty one and another circle shape then I could have done another diamond to the toe but I was so done with braids that I just wanted to get this over with and I have some I wouldn't say issues 
but there are some design elements that I'm not very fond of, which I don't understand. For example, I don't understand why why there's been uh, the seat stitch here between these ones, and then there's uh, I think it's called moss stitch. That's it inside here and then in the back and here's moss stitch this is the seed stitch this is moss stitch so I don't quite understand well it feels like it it's been changed up just to make it more difficult which I guess is fair in a speed contest uh, speed knitting contest to make you pay attention but other than that, I don't understand why that would be done. The same as, same thought I had, I had the same th same thought in here, because there's, see if you probably can see the seed stitch here, but then there's just your regular purse stitches here. So being quite close to wrapping things off, um, I find, find it quite frustrating to try and keep track where it's pearl stitch and where it's sti seed stitch. <sighs> that frustrated me quite a bit. And even though in pictures, while wearing this, this is really beautiful and I do like the, the diamond shape in here, but these circle shapes I don't know, my mind is probably just dirty. This looks a little bit dirty to me. I don't care for that in my socks. At least, kind of, amongst everything else. If you want to make a pair of dirty, dirty socks in that way, then by all means I might make them. But in this, I don't particularly care for it. Other than that, I like that the leg is very long. At least to my standard it's very long I usually don't do a leg, leg this long and uh, and they fit very well I like the fit and really this this for me is the saving grace because even though I didn't particularly like doing it I do like how it looks when I wear them so yeah um, I don't have my official kind of placement for now. Uh, I got these done yesterday evening at I think it was somewhere close to 10 o'clock in the evening or maybe just a little bit over it because yeah like I said I there was something like a little bit under 10 hours to spare before the cut off cut off and um, and my post on Ravelry was something like, it was post number 262, so there's clearly a lot less people who got them done, because my placement is about 100 places further up than it was last time, and still being that close to the cutoff stage, so, so yeah. That's okay. Of course I'm happy that I'm <laughs> higher up, but... But anyways, that's all I have to say about that. So, I hope you like, like this video clip and, uh, well, stock shorty. And until I get the next video up, I hope you have a very good time crafting. Bye bye. Okay, so just a minute. My microphone and laptop audio are doing some weird things, so hopefully the sound won't circulate very badly. And hopefully I won't ruin this, the audio part of this video. Um, but yeah, um, 
stage six started on Saturday and today is Monday. I haven't started that that pair and I probably will at some point but not during this Twitter stock. But I did get my stage five pair done. Uh, the pattern is um, called Flippity Gibbet or Flippity Gibbet by Lisa K. Ross. Um, it's inspired somehow by The Sound of Music, I think it was. And I haven't watched that film too many times, so I'm not sure what it, whether it's Gibbet or Gibbet. I would be inclined, inclined to say Gibbet, but I wouldn't know. Anyway, um, this is what the sock looks like. I, th this reminds me of the indecision socks last year because there's a little bit of cabling and a little bit of lace and um, yeah it was a fun pair to do the only thing for me was the sizing because there was this there was small and size small and then there was um, size medium to large and the medium to large had I think somewhere around 70 stitches, a little bit more than 70 stitches, while I usually use uh, about 64 stitches on 2.5 millimeter needles, and I also did these on 2.25 millimeter needles. So it was a little, bit, a little up there. These are the size small socks. I did start them the medium to large size but I ripped it back and started again. I got them finished um, I had maybe 18 hours left of that stage I haven't checked what my official standing is but I think on Ravelry my finished photo post was something like 280th so, not bad, not great, but anyway, they're finished, and um, and this time I think it's the only pair in this year's Tour de Sock that I used my own hand dyed yarn, and I think this is really lovely because it's it's in some light it's very kind of dusty pink, and then in other lights it, like it's I think it's coming off now it's kind of a very pale lilac color so it's very interesting I think and I do like it even though I'm not that pink of a, um, that much after pink colors but I do like I do like this yeah um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing next because for the last two stages of the competition that I participated in uh, I have been just especially towards the end of the stage I have been just craving anything else than socks I will finish the stage 4 socks because they are very very beautiful and I have one sock finished and another sock nearly at the heel the done toe up so I have the other one almost at the heel so it would be I yeah I want those socks but they might take some time and uh, yeah I'm just really looking forward to getting to other projects that have been languishing because of the Twitter sock. But yeah. That's about all I have to say about these socks. And um Yeah. Sorry for taking so long between uploads. Thanks for joining me. I have seen there have been a few new subscribers 
I try not to look at that and that number too closely because I'm very good at at depressing myself over those numbers so I try not to look at it too closely but I have noticed that there have been, there have been a few new subscribers so welcome thank you so much for finding me and thank you so much for subscribing and to all of you thanks for joining me this time and um, until I see you next time I hope you have a very good time crafting bye bye